To make a figure from the graphical user interface, navigate to the Windows menu. Uh, and we'll be hitting New Graph, but just note that under New, there are quite a bit of other plots, including image plots, box plots, violin plots, anything you could imagine. Um, you can do it in Igor, but let's just stick to a basic plot for now. And we'll plot the Y wave. Um, let's do speed versus distance. And I think all of these options are fine. We want the Y axis to be on the left and the X axis to be on the bottom. So let's do it. And there's our basic figure. To modify the trace appearance, the, the line essentially, or the markers or, or whatever, you double click on it. So I double clicked on the red trace and that opens the modify trace appearance window. And there are quite a, quite a few things that you can change. I won't go through all of them. Uh, just know that you can hover over each option and it tells you what it does. The most important things to know are obviously color. Let's make this a nice magenta. The mode, let's make it lines and markers. We can change our marker to be a circle. We can make our markers very big. The thickness of our line, we can make larger as well. Or I believe that's the that's the marker thickness rather. So let's just keep that where it was. The line thickness, let's make that two for the folks in the back of the room. The style is a way to make dotted lines or dashed lines of various types. So let's make a dashed line for the heck of it. Grouping is more complicated and you'll use it in later figures that have a lot of things going on and you need to group traces in a certain way. Uh, won't talk about it now. We'll say that the offset is a very useful feature if you just need to add a value to your trace at all points so it goes up or down or left to right or is multiplied by some factor. The offset tool is very useful, a uh, very useful way to do that without actually modifying your data. But we won't do that for now. And lastly, uh, gaps is a way to either include or exclude gaps in your trace. So if you have missing data, do you want to draw a line through it or do you just want a gap there? Um, we'll just keep it checked for now. So we'll hit do it, and we have changed our trace to be nice and purple. Note that we can see the command that we use to do this in the command line. So if we go back to how this was before, or we change it, let's change it to something totally different. Like so, we can use the command that we generated above, and it makes our graph how we would like it. To add axes labels, double click on the axis of your choice. It brings up the modify axis window. Here you can select the axis that you're interested in. And we'll do the bottom right now. Let's make let's make the axis thickness a bit beefier for the folks in the back of the room. Let's do the same to the left axis. Let's add some labels. I think we plotted speed versus distance, if I recall correctly. It's just an example in any case. And let's also make these fonts bigger. So let's do font size 14. And notice that the way that the font sizes work is through the use of a, a string command slash forward slash Z14. So if we want a 16 point font, we could make that 16 and so on. Let's keep it at 14. Note that if we put this after distance, um, distance is not altered in any way. So your modifier must be in the right place to do what you would like it to do. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. do it. Again, everything's out in the command prompt, so we can code this in the future. And that's the basics of how you make a figure. Uh, there's a lot of options in the 
in making figures. Uh, one more thing is to modify the bulk characteristics of a figure, double click on the white space on the outside of uh, the figure. Here you can modify margins and magnification and font size globally for that figure. So I don't know why we would want to do this, but let's give ourselves a three inch uh, margin on the left, one bottom, one everything else. And let's do it. And so now we have a horrendously scrunched up figure, but we have illustrated how to modify the bulk characteristics of a figure. All right, so let's go ahead and write a function.